Hey. You okay? Yeah. What's up? You better come to the pool. Okay, yeah. Just one sec. Why didn't you fish it out? You're the expert at getting rid of stuff. I've got muffins in the oven. You hungry? Where's your mum? Did you speak with Cooper? I haven't spoken to anyone. I'm poisoned right now, thanks to you. I told you not to go to that party. You embarrassed me in front of everyone I know. Your life might be shit, but some of us are still trying to have one. I just don't ever want to see you get hurt. You can't just throw yourself at guys. You don't have the right to tell me who to sleep with. Listen, did you see anybody near the back of my ute last night when Dave brought you home? No. I don't know. I didn't notice. I gotta go. And watch Eva. Hi, Pat. You look dreadful. Is that wife of yours looking after you? Yes. Oh, it's all that rubbish they're writing about you in the papers. Not fit to wipe your ass with. As if you could have done a thing like that. Good Lord. Oh, that poor boy. Dave! On the move! What are you doing in there? Hitting a jumper? Hurry up, you've got a visitor. Okay, all this Tasha business. Did you put something in my ute? What? Did you put something in my ute? What are you talking about? I'm not dicking around, okay? Last night after you brought Tasha home. Okay, nothing happened with Tasha. Seriously, she's your daughter. Okay, okay. did you put anything in my back toolbox? I, I don't know what you're talking about. Did you? Jesus! Look at yourself. You kicked me out of your house. You told me to never come back again. 2.2 seconds later, you're in here accusing me of what? What did I put in your ute? What did you find? Well, you can't even tell me. Hey, what is going on with you, mate? Look, this whole Tom stuff is awful. I know that. But you're acting nuts. You're running around, you're accusing people of shit. Look at yourself. Look how you're treating the people that care about you. I shouldn't have come. Yeah, well, tell me. Ben, what is going on? What did you find? Thank you, Mum. Hey. 
Hey, Mr. Carr, I'm sorry, I'm on my way. Don't bother. What's that? Don't bother going to the house. I, I said I'd have it done by Christmas and I will. Seriously? You seriously think that's possible? I've... Because I don't. I've just, I've got some issues right now. I just need a day or two. Yeah, we're to... gonna find somebody else. Look, we had a deal. Take us to court. Hey, what's going on? They're in your workshop. They've actually got to go out, so I can't really help you with that today. Are you expecting him home anytime soon? No, not really. He's going to be at work for at least, I don't know, two or three hours. And I, I've got to run off myself, so... Um... Mr. Gundelak. Just the person we want to see. You have the key to this locker? What are you looking for? It's something to do with your torch. Is there a problem, Mr. Gunlock? All right, let's get these receipts. Store receipts, handwritten receipts, print-offs of online purchases. I said I didn't have a problem with them having a look. When did you say you bought the torch? I don't remember. Ask our accountant. And you don't remember, Mr Gundluck. Last year, two years ago, three. You all right, Mr. Gundelak? You're bleeding again. Fine. Perhaps we could take these with us, and you could take Mr. Gundelak to a doctor. Thank you for your time. So early. I um I lost the job at the new farmhouse. What are you doing, Ben? I'll get another job. You're screwed up running around trying to do the police's job for them. They think I did it. You didn't do it. I know that. Then let it go. I hate this. It's ruining us. It's just speeding things up. You know that. We need to get you to Dr. Turner. I can get there myself. Okay. through a lot lately. The whole street's been through a lot lately. We'll live. How about your family? 
How's Christy and the girls? I wish they didn't have to see it all. No, it's not fair. But you can't do anything about that, can you? I wish I could. But this, you should have seen me sooner. Headaches? Yep. Are you self-medicating? Mm, yep. Let's have a look. We don't want to see a detached retina. Okay, look over there. Now, are you seeing any floaters in your eye? Those squiggly things that drift in your vision? No. Okay. Other eye? And no flashes or black spots? No. Okay. Retina looks fine, which is good. But I'm going to write you a script for those headaches. Back in a tick? filled in next door. Thanks. Hello? Mr. Gundlach. Ian Corneal. You're not on your way to a job, eh? What do you want? This is a receipt we found in your files this morning. It just says torch kit on there. But we contacted the hardware chain and they verified that the product code at that date was the Light Chief 20D. And that's the same make the forensic services determined was used to kill Tom Manane. So we have the case. We have the receipt. We have the forensic report. And you own the torch that was used to kill Tom. So what? Uh, maybe it's the same model, I don't know. But I bet you ask that hardware chain how many of those torches they sell, right? Hundreds? And there's gotta be hundreds of them out there. Yes, mine is missing, but that doesn't mean it was used to kill Tom. I don't know what happened to it. I don't know if it took it. I don't know where it is. Your time, Mr. Gunlack. How dare they? How dare they? You know, I had to just go straight down to the newspaper and tell them, who needs to know that? Who needs to read that my little boy's head was smashed by multiple blows? <laughs> who needs to read that? Jess, the police released it for a reason. They just want to smoke out whoever they think did it by letting them know they know what was used. sedatives that Dr. Turner prescribed. I don't need drugs. Oh, Jess. They're in my bag.
This whole thing is just cutting me into pieces. I can't eat. I can't sleep. possibly had a ladder. Maybe you have one, Ben. It's always the way, isn't it? Disaster strikes when you've got a million things to do. <laughs> isn't it? We've got a Christmas dinner tonight. Tim's practice. It's our turn to host. Of course, he's not here. He's gone from the clinic straight to drinks at the hospital. <laughs> Sorry about the chaos. Try having kids. There's our bloody little Niagara. Uh. Uh, there's a manhole through there to the roof. Uh -huh. Oh, uh, do you have a torch? No. Thank you so much for doing this. No worries. I think I see it. There's a box up here getting wet. Really? Yeah, I'll move it. Oh, yeah, you've lost the roofing screw. Is that bad? Well, I can stop the leak pretty easy with some silicon, but you're going to have to replace the sheet of iron. Careful, the bottom's falling out. Oh. Who's the boy? Oh, uh, I've no idea. It must be the previous owners. We've never been up there. Let's have a look, eh? Oh, no, really, Ben, it's fine. Thank you. You've done so much already. And what about the leak? I'll call a roofer. Really, Ben, you've been a great help. Thank you. She went out. Cooper came over and she dropped everything. Didn't you hear his car? I was helping Mrs. Turner. Tash was going to take me shopping. Uncle Malcolm's Christmas party is oh, tonight. It's tonight. He always gets me a great present. I have to get him something. OK, OK, just put your shoes on. If he says I can have a sip of champagne again, is that OK? We'll see. Did you find it? 
Come on, man. You barrel in tents of shit to my house this morning, asking me if I put something in your ute. You found it, didn't you? Don't be insane. Mate, we've got a lot of stuff to sort out, OK? But this is bigger than that bullshit. If you found oh, that... Get your voice down. If you have that torch, it'll put you away for life. Do you understand that? If you've got it, you've got to get rid of it. I don't have it. Mate, this is not a matter of the facts, all right? It's how it looks. Jesus, give it to me. I'll get rid of it. Get rid of it. Bad. So what do you want to get Uncle Malcolm? I don't know. What do you think? Mr. and Mrs. Tim. Wait here. Lock the doors. Dad. I'll be back in a second. Boy, why did you have his stuff? It's none of your business. Why did you burn it? Tell hey, me. leave me alone. What did you do to that boy? Ben, it's not your business. Eva? Hello? I said wait in the car! You left me alone! Why would you 
do that? I didn't know where you went. I was coming back. Come on, of course I was coming no, back. Don't. I didn't know where you went. I'm sorry. What's going on with everybody? Why can't things just be normal again? It's really things won't be normal for a long time. You know that. But you need to be. I'm sorry, okay? Still go shopping. It's okay. What the... This one's incredible. I think this one's my favorite here. Yeah. yeah. Ben, um, this is my friend Oliver from uni. Hey, here you go. This is the guy you're sleeping with. Ben? Listen, I should probably go. I need the computer. What? Exactly. What? What has gotten into you? What's gotten into me? Why don't you go relax with your boyfriend? Oliver is my friend. You brought him into our house, Chris. And where did you sleep with Jess? Do you have any idea how bad things are? Yeah, and you keep on making them worse. I'm trying to make them better. How? How? I have no idea. You're right. Where is time. He? He's not here. Uh, ben, please let me sit down. You please. lied to me. If we haven't Turn done anything. Up. Let me to Tim. Ben, Did you um come with me? Um, ben, this Jamie Kent, the little boy in Thelma. The boy you molested. I did not molest him. His mother said you did? Oh, she's wrong. I'm not in jail, am I? The papers said it was a mistrial. You left England, you changed your name. I dropped half my name legally. And you came here. Did you touch him? I never hurt Jamie. What about Tom? 
He trusted you, and, and you killed him. No. And he used my fucking toy. I know you're wrong. He was my son. Tim. No. How can you live with him? Tim hasn't done anything wrong. Oh, you wrong. don't believe that. You were as surprised as I was when you saw that box. You think you know, but you don't. I know enough. You don't know anything, Ben, please. Hey, get over here. I know who killed Tom. I don't believe it. He's your doctor. He's our children's doctor. He was hounded out of the UK. But he's not in jail. He will be. What is going on with you, Ben? I found a photo. Eva said you left her alone at the hospital. Do you have any idea what she's going through? Are you even listening to me? There's a fucking pedophile living across the street. Benjamin! You really have to stop all this. We're going to Malcolm's tonight. I'm not going to your brother's. Eva wants us all to go. Don't let her down again. You're not arresting him? What for? Six people verified Dr. Turner was on shift in the hospital the night your son was killed. We established that one day after you found Tom. But the boy in England. And we knew about that. There was no conviction recorded, so as far as we're concerned, Dr. Turner is an innocent man. Although I'm not sure the press will leave it at that, because they love a scandal. I'm sure you can imagine how hard it is to work when everyone thinks you committed a crime. Dr. Turner said something very interesting to me. He told me what you said to him. It was in the heat of the moment, admittedly. But you said you killed him and you used my fucking torch. So now you do think your torch was used to murder Tom. Well, that's what you told me. Right? Mr. Candler, what aren't you telling me? I have a family dinner. I'd make the most of that. Get a present. Good. Way off. I don't know. We'll stop somewhere along the way. Hey, uh, guys. Hey, I'm not really ready. Well, we're late. Oh. Chris. Anne, come on. No. Yeah. Oh, this is 
shit. No, it's Tasha. Not. Where are we gonna stop? What for? Eva doesn't have a present for Malcolm. Right. No. What about a subscription to Fuse? Come on, let's go. I'll wait here. Are you going to jail? What? We need to know. I need to know. I'm not going to jail. Everyone thinks you're crazy. I'm going through some stuff, okay? Cooper's terrified of you. Mum's a wreck. And the Turners, what did you do to them? People are saying I did something I didn't do. Yeah, well, you're doing things you wouldn't normally do. Hitting people, accusing people. So what are we supposed to think? Tash, I didn't... Hey, listen! I just want to know what I should be telling people in case you end up in jail. having a piss. 